All right, believe it or not, there's a difference between someone that hooks the golf ball and a pull hooker. Completely different. If your ball starts left and hooks more, that's a different problem. What happens is with a pull hook is someone similar to somebody that actually blocks the golf ball. Their body gets too far out ahead, they're out in this direction, but instead of the club being late, they try to catch up and they allow their arms to pass their body very quickly, and that's what causes the hook. What we have to do is we have to marry the body and the arms up together. So believe it or not, it's gonna be crazy feeling for the guy that pull hooks it, but he's gotta allow his arms to be a little faster to catch up to get in front of his body. Someone that pull hooks the ball, their arms are late, they're hanging back, and they're flipping. So a great drill from him, for him is going to be to get it to the top, stop, and allow his arms to get past it a little bit. So again, take it to the top if you're a pull hook guy. We're gonna slow that lower body down a little bit. We're gonna speed up those arms a little bit, which is hard for somebody that's hooking it. Take it to the top, stop, let those arms catch up. That'll stop that pull hook and actually allow that ball to start a little bit to the right. Marry that arms and body up. It's gonna help you a ton.